Welcome back to my channel. I'm trying to do a, an intro and I don't know. I try to write a script. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. Quest, the Oculus Quest can now be used as a PC VR HMD, so it's not just for mobile, with the Oculus link coming out. So I thought, hey, you know what? Let me do a little comparison video of this versus the Samsung Odyssey Plus. As a dedicated VR headset for use with PC VR, how do the two compare? Especially since you can get the Samsung Odyssey Plus now, it's on sale for like $229 most places. Let's check it out. One of the things I noticed about the Oculus Quest is that it's only about 70 to 70 percent of 70 to 75 percent of the brightness as my Samsung Odyssey Plus. Remember, they're both OLED screens. That's something I didn't notice before, but playing the same VR game with the Quest and then going over to the Odyssey Plus, I noticed it was much brighter, significantly brighter. It's not like this is not bright enough, but when you're playing them side by side, you notice the difference. Another thing I noticed that I had not noticed before is the Quest has a noticeably more shallow or narrow field of view than the Samsung Odyssey Plus. That's something I wasn't expecting and something that never occurred to me until, again, I played the same PC VR games side by side. Now, as far as comfort goes, you might think, and if you followed anything about the Samsung Odyssey Plus, you might think the Quest is definitely more comfortable. Now, the Quest is not uncomfortable, and the Samsung Odyssey Plus without any mods is very uncomfortable for most people, or can be after about a half hour of use. But with the comfort mods, uh, it's actually much more comfortable than the Quest. My son, I asked him about it. I let him try both of them, and he said he liked, he said he liked the Samsung Odyssey Plus better because it was softer. If you want to know anything about the comfort mods, I will put a card up here uh, and also a link in the video description to check out that video. Responsiveness. Um, I guess some people say that they notice a delay using the Quest for a PC VR HMD with, with the cable, with the Oculus Link cable. I haven't noticed any problems. To me, it's just as responsive as with my Samsung Odyssey Plus. So personally, I've noticed no lag at all. None. It's very responsive. One other thing that I was really happy to check out is clarity. Now, when I first tried the Oculus Link on the Quest, I thought, wow, this is really clear. I wonder how it compares to the Samsung Odyssey Plus. Because with the Samsung Odyssey Plus and their anti-SDE tech, it has a sense of things being softer. Uh, but even so, it's still clearer. For example, uh, Oculus Dream Deck, at that part where there's the alien that's looking at you and you can look behind him and see there's this like planet with craters. You can see the craters fine with the Samsung, or you can see the craters fine with the Oculus Quest, but with the Samsung Odyssey Plus, way more detail, way more detail. So yeah, it's definitely more clear on the Samsung Odyssey Plus. So my recommendation would be if you already have an Oculus Quest, uh, then you know go ahead and just try the Oculus Link cable and pretty much any cable that any USB-C 3.0, not 3.1, but 3.0 cable with fast charging technology. I think it has like the 56K ohm resistor in it should work. I bought two different kinds and they both worked. But if you don't have a Quest and you want to know what's the best clarity to get uh, for cheap without having to spend $500 or more, I would definitely recommend the Samsung Odyssey Plus. Or if you already have a Quest but you want to get something better, and you want to do PC VR, I would definitely recommend Samsung Odyssey Plus. Right now it's selling many places for 229 bucks. Highly recommend it. But again, if you just want to take baby steps toward PC VR and you already have a, an Oculus Quest, uh, yeah, just spend 10 bucks or so, and I'll put a link in the video description to some cables you can use, and try it out. It's definitely not as good as something like a Sam, uh, Samsung Odyssey Plus, but it's not bad. It's, it's fun, it's a fun experience, and it's not bad at all. All right, guys, thanks for watching. That is it. Don't forget to like, comment, and share, and subscribe. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Yeah, all those things. And uh, I will put a link in the video description to some cables that you can use for the Oculus Link. And uh, all right, until then, I'll catch you guys later. Thanks.